Nuts and Bolts with Tone here, guys. Welcome to my channel. Headlamps. Do you own a headlamp? And if you do, what kind do you own? There are all kinds. Have this kind right here that I have for home. It's got a whole bunch of different modes. It sticks out off your head really, really far. And uh, luckily, I only use this for stuff around the house. It was cheap and uh, definitely not for working on cars. I have used it at home working on cars, but not very often. So there's that kind. Uh, there's also the other kinds where it is a, a strap that goes around your head that's got a light bar all around it. I've had some of those. Uh, I forgot the brand. Um, they sent them to me, and uh, I didn't like them. I couldn't promote them because I didn't like the way it projected the light. And also, the, the batteries didn't last at all. Um, so I couldn't promote those. So I still have them. They're there as a backup just in case I absolutely have no other option. So you have, you have headlamps like this one sticks out off your head a little far. Uh, use this one for a bit, but let me show you the best headlamp. So one of the problems with headlamps is I used to have one. It was a started with an S, uh, Steelman or something like that. And I used that one for years. I actually bought, I think I had two or three over the course of a lot of years. And that was my first one that I owned. And it had a big battery pack in the back. Well, the problem with the battery pack is you're laying on a creeper and it's right there under your head. It's a pain in the butt. So I'm going to show you the best headlamp to get. And that is this right here. This is from Streamlight. And it is, it is called the Streamlight twin task usb headlamp there's one where you can replace the batteries and there's this one which is rechargeable this is the best one i've had this actually this exact one for several years uh and just recently the battery um stopped charging and stuff like that and uh i think it costs like 70 bucks probably cheaper than it would have been to even fix it so i just decided to buy a new one so i have a new one at at work uh, this is, I just brought this one home for the video, but what I like about this headlamp is, so I wear my hat, hat backwards all the time at work. So you put the headlamp on, all right? So you got your headlamp here and it has, a, it tilts, so it can tilt all the way down like that and it can tilt there straight ahead and then it can tilt all the way up. So that's really nice. And I mean, it's super easy to move. It's, it's really easy to move. It works great. And it's got two modes. It's got, uh, I forgot what it's called. One is flood. And then the other one is I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to turn the lights off and we'll look at the two different, uh, but so there's three different, uh, bulb intensities. You have low, medium, high, and you have to click it up to get to whatever intensity you want. And then one touch and it's off. And it's right here on the front. Super easy, just a button on the side. Uh, it also has where if you set it to flood mode, every time you turn it on, it's on flood. If you set it to the other mode, whatever you, whichever one you set it to, that's where it's set until you change it. And all you do is turn the headlamp on, and then you hold the button down, and it changes the mode. I'll show you that in a minute. But what I really like about this flashlight is, this isn't going to work right because I don't have the stuff, but... I don't like to have a headlamp on my head, so this isn't going to fit because I've always had, I've always had a uh, a hat or whatever. So when I'm laying on a creeper, I have a headband. So I put a headband on and then I put my my light on and it goes over the headband. And then generally I have safety glasses on because I wear contacts and I can't take a chance on messing those up. But anyways, so I've got my headband on, my headlamp on, and my safety glasses, and I'm underneath the car now. This battery pack in the back, you would think it's going to be up against the creeper, right? No. What I like about this one is this. You rotate it around to the side like this. And now you can lay on the flat on the back and there's nothing there. It just sits on the side. So, and then when you're done, you slide it back around. So I love that feature. It's bright. It works great. And we all know that Streamlight is the leader in in lighting. I mean, I'm sure there's other brands. Everybody's going to argue about which one's better and whatever, but Streamlight has been around for a long, long time. Uh, I have one of my, my very first 
purchase in a shop buying a tool was a Streamlight Stinger flashlight. And this was 20 years ago before the LED lights were out. So there was no LEDs. Everything was halogen. So you couldn't see crap. But anyways, uh, we had the Stinger with the halogen. And we had them for a while. And then there was an aftermarket company that came out with a lens. You could unscrew the lens and you could screw on this new lens and it made it an LED. The only problem is the LEDs were glued on. So, I mean, we all drop our, our flashlights, right? I mean, you know, maybe once every hour, right? You drop your flashlight. Well, the problem is if you dropped it a few times, the LEDs will break off. Then you'd have to go put your old lens back on until the truck came and they weren't warranted, so you had to buy a new one. So anyways, now there's LED flashlights and all that stuff. And, you know, it's the lighting is crazy now. So let's take a look at what this headlamp looks like in the dark. So here's the two modes. So in this mode here, it has two intensities. So you have low and you have bright. Now that is the flood, I believe. So now I'm going to change it. So all you do is while it's on, you hold down the power button. And then it changes. So now this is the mode that I have it in. So we're going to go low, medium, and high. So this is the, it's like spotlight and floodlight. I can't remember. But anyways, so this is the one that I use right here. I have it on this mode right here all the time. So let's kind of compare the two. So this is more of a broad light. This one lights it up to the side more. And then this is more of a straight ahead light. So you have more power coming in straight ahead, and it's brighter for me. So that's the different modes on this uh, on this headlamp. So if you've ever seen any of my videos where I'm working on cars and, and doing stuff like that, I, I almost always have a headlamp on. If I'm in the middle of a repair, I wear this headlamp. Even if I don't need a headlamp, I still have it on just because I may need to, to turn it on. So this is really cool because you can move this headlamp all around the band here and then you can slide the cables around to adjust it to fit your needs and however it's going to work for you. So back here is where you plug it in. That's where you charge it. And here is where the battery is. So I'm sure I could just buy a battery for it um, and uh, and then use this one for home. So which is probably what I'll do. Uh, Let's take a look at it. I've never actually opened it up before. Oh, look at that. So if you've ever if you've ever been in the streamlight world, you'll you'll remember this. So the regular batteries for the streamlight, they were they weren't light, and so the flashlight was heavier. Then streamlight came out with these batteries here, and they are Stryon batteries or something like that. I can't remember. They were like lithium or whatever. But anyways, um, it, it in the back of the one looked like this. Actually, my stream light at work that I have from back in the day, I upgraded to one of these batteries. I have a battery that looks just like this. And the battery weighs like half as much as the uh, half as much as the one that um that uh that normally comes with the with the stream light. So Pretty simple, just opens up right there, battery drops in. I could probably go on Amazon right now and go and find this battery. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I love this headlamp so much. I would really prefer to have this at home uh, versus any of these other headlamps. This is by far my favorite headlamp. So, and uh, also, so you can get an upfront view of what this looks like. So here's the power button right there. There's no battery in it, so I'm not going to turn on. But so it goes from that is the bottom, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different positions downward, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and six upward. So you have a total of 12 different positions that this headlamp can be in, and um, I love it. It's awesome. You got two different clips here that go around to hold the to hold the cable in different in places to keep it out of your way and over here you got the adjuster 
to adjust for the strap on your head. So that's what I got right there. And uh, that's what I recommend. I'm pretty sure it was like 60 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down below uh, for this headlamp. I personally use it all the time. So thanks for watching the video. Drop a comment down below and let me, let me know if you don't use a headlamp. If headlamps aren't something that, that you use at all. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. I'll see you next time.